Hey everybody, uh, I'm just doing a very quick video on Steep, which is in the open beta uh, this weekend, and it's a pretty fun game. You can ski, you can snowboard, and you can wingsuit. And, uh, well, there was this little, um, kind of like a challenge that um, my friend Carl and I did in this game with the wingsuits, and I actually just managed to do a run where I broke my personal best with, by, like, a couple of thousand, and I thought, like, hey, why not you know, show you guys the replay of it. And then I'll do it live once and will probably horrifically fail and die. So, let's watch the replay. I was going to get up from that one. Wait, I'm actually, I want to do this with like the proper cinematic cam. Which is this one. Here you go. Oh boy. Oh boy. I took, it, I took it very, very close there, because if you pass by uh, objects very closely in the wingsuit, you get massive amounts of points. So that start there was so incredibly tight, it's pretty crazy, actually. Oh, oh yes! Oh, yes! So yeah, that was the uh, that was the replay. Uh, if people want to see it like one more time, I can like show it to you in first person. And then I can switch uh, camera angles. I am a very, very cool looking dude in this game. I, I do not do this in real life, by the way. Just so you guys know. And so, to actually show you guys um, the actual challenge. So it's basically, you start up here and you're supposed to get these points. Uh, which I have like 34,900s of now, which is my best. That's the score to beat. So this is literally just a challenge that Carl basically started, and then he can issue it to his friends, which is really, really cool. Uh, just to show you guys real quick, um, this is like one mountain that you're on, basically all of this. I don't, I don't know why it's zooming in. Like all of this and then some, like those mountains over there, I think as well. Like all of this is basically in the game and can I, I don't know why it like randomly zooms in it's very weird and you can just do that anyway I'm gonna show you guys um, like how this is live so I'm just gonna do the cool jump let's see I uh, might die by the way just so you guys know this uh, happens I'm not going for points I'm going for coolness right now Oh god! <laughs> okay, so you can instantly try again. The game is insane. It has no loading times at all. Like, you can literally warp instantly in less than a second across the entire map, which is quite crazy. Oh god, you can go so fast in this. Oh! And then we pulled up. Whew. Okay, so I didn't nearly get enough points, but that basically shows you how to do the wingsuit. So you can walk around as well uh, to get into better positions. So you can also at any time, um, you can switch to paragliding, which is kind of fun. By the way, yes, I'm wearing a chicken hat, which is why my guy actually makes chicken sounds now. So yeah, like you can just paraglide. Paragliding is very comfy. You, you try to catch the wind. Basically like this to like go upwards and you can also do these quite interesting stunts where you do stuff like this. Whoop. 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 Which apparently doesn't actually give you any points which is weird but yeah so that's paragliding. Let's uh, go down again because I want to show you guys very quickly the um, 
the skiing and the snowboarding as well, which, you know, is pretty okay. Alright, so again, like, you can literally just switch to skis, and then you can go ski. <laughs> you can also almost die by jumping on rocks. Kinda wanted to pull off something like this. Thank you. So that meter on the left is basically... It's kinda like your balance meter. Like, don't ask me why they call it G-Force. It makes no sense. But basically, this game is trying to go for a bit more of realism than other, um, like, snowboarding and ski games. So, you're not supposed to do, like, 20 million fucking tricks. There's no grinding in this either, which is interesting, because, like, I don't know how many people know, like... I can also go backwards on the skis, by the way, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's actually go backwards. There we go. Um, I don't know how many guys of you, like, know, like, snowboarding games and ski games, but you can do some really crazy stuff in them. Usually, like, you can grind on pretty much everything. It's kind of like a skateboarding game. <laughs> okay. Well, that happened. Anyway, and uh, we can also switch to the snowboard at any time. Uh, let me just actually walk somewhere. Now I have the snowboard on my back. Um, let's go from here, shall we? So yeah, you can also snowboard. And as you can see, all of that, like those mountains there in the background, that's all, you know, playable. It's all playable space, you can make your own challenges, you can issue them to your friends, you can see other people uh, riding around. You can see your friends riding around, you can group up with a press of a button. It's literally just like, you press a button, a uh, guy gets a message like, hey, Plyka wants to group up, and then you just go, oh, okay. So yeah, you can be like super chill, or you know, you can go speed, which is this right now here, doesn't actually go all that um, that steep. So let me show you an actual uh, steep thing again. Uh, this is where we started up there, that's where the challenge was. Um, let's go, what's a cool ride? I think this is actually like a cool ride here. Like we can you you can use like helicopters to basically travel where you want to. All of the mountains have kind of like their very own character in a way. Quite cool, actually. Oh god, this is all ice. Oh god, where have I gone? This is this is the worst place. Anyway, let's see if we can actually. Yeah, he's doing the he's doing the Naruto snowboard. So yeah, of course, at, at, at this point, we can also, let me just, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is not going to actually work properly, but we're going to try it. Um, at any point, we can just stop and, uh, you know, switch to, switch to a different spot. <laughs> no, no, that did not work at all. So yeah, you can make snow angels though, as the, as the wingsuit. Oh, now we're going fast. Now we're going Sanic. And this is just a very meditative kind of game, or it can be. I can go into like a free cam. For some reason I have this smoke. Oh, now we're doing a jump. Oh, that's this is gonna be good. Oh, 
Aw, oh, yeah. That was a nice jump. And as you can see, these mountains are not small. I mean, I am reaching the limit of the map, but apparently the uh, map is bigger in the full game. So, yeah, we just went from there via ski. We just went all the way from, like, here, basically. And uh, talking about wingsuit, we can do that as well. Look, we were down there. Wingsuit is very fun. The cool thing is since like you can switch at any time and so can of course your friends so you can actually have like your friend snowboarding and you can fly overhead with a wingsuit is pretty cool. Ta-da! And I am wearing weird spandex now. So yeah, that's steep. I just wanted to show you guys this really quick. Um, it's a fun game. It comes out December 2nd. Uh, honestly, I don't think it's worth, like, full price. I wouldn't pay $60 for it or, you know, like, 50 euros or whatever. But if I can get this for 25 euros, maybe 30 if I have one or two friends to play it with. I like snowboarding games. I like skiing. I love snow, so I, I would pick it up then. But apart from that, I do not think it is the kind of game that I would put $60 in because... I don't know. Just not the kind of game that's worth that kind of money for me. If you like those kind of game, try it out. It's got a free weekend right now. All you gotta do is uh, download it uh, on... Well, it's free weekend. It's an open beta. Download it on Steam. Download it on Uplay. It doesn't matter. It's about 17, 18 gigabytes download. Maybe you have fun. Give me a comment in the video. Bye-bye.